Welcome to the Davidson Wildcats Football Coaches Show with Coach Paul Nichols, presented by J.J. Wade and Associate. Winning streak for the Wildcats, big win, Coach, over Livingstone on Saturday night. Yeah, absolutely. It was a big win. Uh, just uh, really uh, pleased with the effort of our players and our coaching staff and um, just, a, just a really uh, a great crowd. Uh, special thanks to so many, but uh, starts at the top here at Davidson with our administration, Carol Quillen. Jim Murphy and Scott Applegate, and certainly we uh, had a hospitality tent in the end zone with uh, Gavin Viano and his crew, Angela Serkovnik, and so on and so forth. But uh, really proud of uh, of our players being able to put things together back to back, and uh, you know it's uh, it's really a tribute to those guys. They're working very hard and uh, and starting to develop some confidence. Coach, on the field, you got a couple of breaks early on and then you're able to take advantage, just kind of step on the throat, so to speak. Yeah, it was really nice to see when we had opportunities, particularly in the first half, that's something we talk a lot about in terms of starting fast and being able to seize the momentum right out of the, right out of the gate. Uh, really pleased with the, uh, the takeaways defensively, and then obviously offensively we get set up in a, uh, a couple of short fields and we take advantage. And, uh, and that's what you got to do to be able to uh, not only win games, but also just sustain uh, momentum within a game and also throughout a season. Now, Coach, you've got lots of awards from that game because a lot of players contributed. Yeah, absolutely. We, we played uh, uh, nearly 95% of our roster, and uh, offensively we felt like Keelan Brown came back and had another outstanding week and uh, you know, really felt like on special teams, boy, it was great to see Trevor hit that long field goal. And he also did a nice job uh, in, the, uh, in the kickoff area where we did a nice job covering the kicks as well. But it starts with the kick, obviously. And we felt like uh, 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 defensively, Ryan Samuels flew around to the football and made a number of plays. And, and certainly, uh, Boo Jordan did a nice job. Uh, we gave those two guys uh, co-MVPs on defense. And, uh, and so those were kind of the MVPs. We had a number of great performances. We gave out a couple of extra effort awards. We saw Jarrah Scott and, uh, and, and Derek Jones uh, do a number of things. They caught the ball, they got vertical, they broke a tackle, and that was really good to see. And, and certainly uh, we had a, a number of hits doled out where we, we try to be physical in all areas of the game, but uh, you saw the one uh, where Ray, Ray McCall was, uh, was covering the punt and uh, did a nice job on their returner. And, and he parlayed the, the, the big hit of the week as well as the special, uh, the student athlete of the week, and uh, he, I don't know what he's doing taking French, but he's doing a heck of a job in his French class, so he's our, Bonjour. that's exactly, I don't know about that, but I do know this, he's our student athlete of the week. Trey and, Bond. Uh, yeah, that's exactly right, so we're really, uh, really proud of him, and uh, you know, certainly we had a number of guys uh, step up in the, uh, in the demo area, uh, which is our, which is our scout team, and uh, just really proud of those guys across the board for, for stepping up and uh, doing a great job of, uh, of demonstrating the opponent's looks, offense, defense, and kicking game, and uh, really felt like all in all, uh, what we saw in practice was what we saw in the game, and that really gave us an opportunity to uh, to play pretty good. Coach, and we didn't, you didn't even mention Tony Collins, the uh, Pioneer Football League player, uh, or defensive player of the week. Absolutely, young, young Tony Collins is uh, certainly making his impact here in the first couple of weeks of the season. He continues to improve. We started out week one and, and really week two and, and just some limited things that we were asking him to do. We asked much more of him uh, on Saturday and, and he really showed up in a number of different areas. So really pleased with the progress of him, really pleased with the progress of, as the freshman, uh, of the freshman group as a whole. Uh, I think a number of them are showing up and, and that's a tribute to them, but it's also a tribute to our upperclassmen who have really embraced that group and really done everything they could to bring them along, and uh, our coaching staff has done a great job as well. Okay, so now we get into league play, road trip to Valparaiso. Well, it's going to be a huge challenge, Mark. It's, a, it's an outstanding football team. They're very well coached. Their assignment sound. They're disciplined. They play exceptionally hard. Dave Caccini's done a, a really fine job with that football program. They've got great skill positions, uh, great skill players, excuse me. Uh, they, uh, they do a nice job on the offensive and defensive line. They're very multiple uh, in their formations and sets offensively and defensively. They're multiple as well. They do a great job. I tell you what, they, they, they probably have the best 
punter in our league, and, and the numbers bear that out, and uh, their kicking game is no different. It's going to be a huge challenge, uh, really, regardless of where, these, where we play these people. But when you go on the road, it's, uh, it's another big challenge. And uh, Valparaiso is coming off a big win against Trinity University, and, and, and you really look at them, and they've, they've played two exceptional football teams in, in uh, Illinois State and Sacred Heart. And Illinois State only went to the national championship game last week. So these guys are not going to be uh, 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 coming off a, a victory and, and one and two. They're going to be very confident. They've played in a big time environment at Illinois State and they already went on the road to Sacred Heart. So I, I think it's a huge challenge for our guys to be able to rise up and meet the level of intensity and effort that they're going to play with. And, and to do that, we've got to have a great week of practice. Coach, a lot of Wildcat fans in the Chicago area. Well, I tell you what, Chicago is a great area. I've, I've heard from a number of, uh, of our alums. Matt Casey lives up uh, in that area, lives in Indianapolis. Uh, but uh, we've got Ross Menire uh, up in Chicago, and, and uh, our defensive line coach's brother, John McCartney, lives in the area as well, and that's just to name a few. Richard Howell is the strength coach for the Indianapolis Colts, and uh, so we've got a lot of good, solid Davidson fans and alums in the area, and uh, boy, we expect to see a bunch of them here this Saturday because we need them. We need them yelling loud and, and proud and supporting the red and the black. Thanks a lot, Coach. Well, we'll be headed to Valparaiso, Indiana. We hope to see you there if you're up that area. If you're not, go to DavidsonWildcats.com to get all the details. And, of course, you can listen in to our broadcast. This has been the Davidson Wildcats Football Coaches Show with Coach Paul Nichols. I'm Mark Clements, presented by J.J. Wade & Associates. Thanks for joining us.